Alright guys, um, it's your man, Brown, we are back with another reaction. I'm gonna be honest, I, I literally just woke up, and I'm, I'm a little caught off guard. Because I did I thought we were going to be getting 16 episodes of Doom Patrol this season. Turns out, this is the last episode, so that just, like, killed the whole vibe, I'm gonna be honest. Um, yesterday, we, we had a, a very emotional episode with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so, going into this, it's a, it's a... I mean, we we need some more shows to watch, so we're gonna probably be sticking with Hannibal and doing different stuff like that, because literally, like, all the shows are ending, and I thought I had a couple more weeks of this, but, shit, that sucks, but anyways, we're here, um, Stargirl, the finale's coming around next week, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the series finale's next week, and this, so I mean, we're gonna have to find some other stuff, but that, that sucks, dude, that really caught me off guard, I just went to HBO Max to get the video ready, and it was like, oh yeah, the season finale. I was like, oh no, they're probably hyping it up in the next couple of weeks. And of course, I'm I'm an idiot. I was wrong. So I mean, uh, man, that that stinks. But still, um, I'm excited. I mean, it's gonna be cool to see how they end it. Um, we're I'm pretty sure the name of this episode is titled Candlemaker. So of course, that's gonna be very very exciting. I mean, he's been a really fun fun villain to to see. A fun a really fun character. Just the way that they've they they animated him and different stuff like that. Just the way he looks, it's like so badass. Like. Like, when I first saw him, I was honestly a little terrified. I mean, dude, dude's a walking candlestick. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i looking forward to it, though. But you remember, if you're new, subscribe. We will be doing this next season. I'm disappointed. We react to every episode of the season. Some episodes in season one, but I'm a little disappointed. I mean, I was caught off guard. That's it. But talk to me in the comments. I, w I would I'd love to hear what your favorite part of the episode is, what your favorite part of Doom Patrol was. Remember, join my Discord. We can have big discussions about Doom Patrol or any other series that I watch. Check out my Patreon. There's some full reactions over there. This might go up there. Last week's episode went up there, I'm pretty sure. But um, I just posted my Harley Quinn finale up there. I know that's uh, very, very late, but I still had the footage. I was like, you know what? Let's, let's just post it. So I ended up posting it. It was pretty cool. So, um, you can get some DC content up there, so it should be fun. But, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what else we got to react to in the future. But, yeah, I'm uh, excited to see how this ends. Because, I mean, we're le leaving on somewhat of a crazy note. I mean, of course, Dorothy and the whole idea that she is now growing up. And we saw her kind of face that last episode. And, um, she finally went on that little spiritual journey or whatever you call it. And, like, like her aunt said, I don't know, what, what do you call that, that other lady that was like, oh, it's time. Like, the one that kept doing that. I mean, she was very, very, tr like, trying to push her into growing up or whatever you call it. I don't even know. But, um, stuff went down. We all know. I'm, I'm hoping it's not a cr it's not too crazy. But we all know that at the end of last episode, it uh, looked like stuff was going down in a populated area. So, that's not always good. Uh, and, uh, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna be a crazy-ass episode. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Talk to me in the comments. This has, yeah, this episode will probably go on. Yeah, it will go on Patreon because it's a full reaction. So, I mean, I mean because it's a season finale. So, we want to make sure that we do that. And, yeah, we got Hannibal coming out. We got a lot of other stuff coming out. So, I'm, I'm excited to see you guys there. Thank you guys for watching Doom Patrol with me. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I'm very excited to, to you know, have you guys part of a little group I got going on. So, it's, it's, it's awesome. But, again, remember... Uh, Let's talk about the show a little bit. Uh, Beekeeper. I mean, she's fully embracing the whole superhero identity, which I think is cool. I mean, when Ronnie was um, about to bounce, she did step in the way. She didn't end up doing anything, but she stepped in the way. And you know, maybe we'll see some of that here of her kind of becoming a little more of a hero, some more action sequences. And um, maybe we'll see more between uh, Cliff and his daughter, because I'm hoping he doesn't fuck up that wedding thing. Because, I mean, the fact that I guess that might happen here, I don't know. But I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I think we have a little syn synopsis. It's called... Wax Patrol, before this, before they came to save the world from, can before they can save the world from Candlemaker, the Doom Patrol must first confront their childhood imaginary friends. Meanwhile, Jane reflects the first time that Miranda became primary, and Dorothy must make a faithful choice. Okay, so yeah, we all know, Jane got pushed down, was that last episode? When Jane got pushed down? I don't know, but anyways, I'm gonna shut up, if you're new, follow my socials down there, I mean, I'm probably gonna edit them in, if I didn't, then I'm looking like a fool. But here is, I mean, here is to one last episode. I mean, I appreciate all of you. You guys are awesome. And without further ado, let's bang it out. Let's get busy. This is the last time we're going to hear it for a while. Let's enjoy it. Uh, poor little guy. Hey, all right. That's all I got to like a cat. You know that? Mysterious. <laughs> Miranda. Miranda. Ah. <sighs> Saturday night? Sure. 
She's like, whatever, fine. He's like, ah, I hope he's sincere. I really do. Does this work on other girls? Is it working on you? <laughs> alright, alright, too much. Who are you? I'm Miranda. Miranda? Didn't you jump into a well? I did. <laughs> You've been playing this uh. <laughs> I love how, you know, Rita is dead ass the glue of the group. She like keeps them with their manners and stuff. I absolutely love her character. Oh god. You can't just do that to a person. Armageddon. You forgot to say Oh, he's warning them. No real Armageddon. He's warning them. It's happening at the Deal County Fair. Dorothy oh no. Needs she can't hold back the candle maker. Three. Cliff, you go to your wedding. I can't lead a mission. Hey! It's the end of the world. I deserve to spend it with my family. That's fair. What the hell are we? Ah, uh, for as damn. long as I can have to miss the wedding. Um, no. Teleported up Walt Disney's asshole. Jesus, dude. Now, <laughs> good luck with that. Oh what no. What kind of Mike Tyson shit happened to you? Oh God. Friends. Good. Then they'll stop you. Yes. The girl. Clueless. Pack of twats have no Jeez. idea what, what the hell was that? It's kind of, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you imagine that bunch. Oh my god, I'll leave this show. What the fuck? Did anybody actually have imaginary friends? Like, I never did, but I feel like that would have been a cool thing to have. <laughs> it's funny, I never had an imaginary friend. Hey. That's the saddest thing I have ever heard. <laughs> oh god. Jane would think before doing some stupid shit like that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what do you want, Kay? Oh so my Jane god. <laughs> Look at you. Did us flat Stanley. I'm really excited to see Vic's imaginary friend. Oh god. Dr. Cowboy? <laughs> Gosh darn, if you don't look tougher nails Oh, it's his dad. Oh, I'm God. Are right, we do it? <laughs> Draw. Oh, yes. You got me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, dude. Having female problems. Not bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus? Jesus? <laughs> oh Jesus. man. <laughs> I'm here to end you. Oh, this is awesome. Oh yes. This is kind of a time drip, I love it. I hear she's a sex maniac now. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want you to know that we'll make this work. Yo, I don't want him to die. I know this is like some Way long ago, but I like him. Can actually... the hippie guitarist outside the diner. <laughs> Son, let me know if you start feeling alone. Mm -hmm. How's this? T Too subtle. <laughs> Just hit me in the face. Go towards the light. Oh no, dude! What the hell happened to you? <gasps> Oh, stop. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. This is so weird. Let me fix it for you. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Jesus is tight. I was six. Of course I bought it. I needed my dad. Aw. Six. Jesus, I had no idea. <laughs> Man, I forgot he was six. I'm sorry, Jesus. Ah, open arms. Oh, good, my man. Oh, God. <gasps> no! Cliff! What the hell? Don't I'm a little nervous on what will happen. <laughs> What's Jeez. so funny? It's official. Do a hell of a party. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Well, I told you everyone loves you. That's all you have to say. <laughs> wow. It's cool. 
Oh my god. I hope he hasn't cheated on her. I didn't know it was going to be this kind of party. Word, experiencing new things. I want to do that with you. Bro, you're a dickhead. You just want to bang other chicks. We have to do this. No. It's gonna be fine. <sighs> oh, that's terrible. What the? Oh my god, dude. Oh, I don't. Dude. What? Oh no, that. No. Oh god, no. Is that you? Are you okay? Bro. Oh god, dude. We're supposed to keep us safe. Oh, she ain't having it, bro. Oh. Okay. This is where she. Oh god. Bound. Yeah. Get out of there. Fine as wine. Oh, stop it. So, who wants to get back to fucking? <laughs> I don't. Say, Bobby? I don't like this. I don't like this. Maybe he sticks it in. Uh, or one of you ride my face. Oh my or god. Maybe we or all you sheep opening up for them because you're afraid. Wow. And you just wanted to try some new pussy. <laughs> you know what? You do need help. Crazy. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh Niles. Oh no. Oh god. Dorothy. Oh dude. Close your eyes. Listen, listen. No. <laughs> yeah, she got iron lungs or something. She can breathe underwater for a grip. Okay. Uh oh. Station closed. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, that wasn't. No. Yeah, I was about to say that was Miranda. Oh no. Time. Oh no. Don't do this, don't <laughs> oh god. I'm begging you. Don't put on the boots. You need a weapon. I can make my own. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is crazy. Come girl and meet your fate. <gasps> Holy crap! Oh my god! <laughs> dude! Oh, Niles! Oh, man, dude! Isn't that it? Yeah! Oh god! So, geez, for a finale, I mean, I don't even know what to think. I mean, it, they had moments where it was just kind of. just straight up story driven, so it was kind of a little difficult to get into, but. Other than that, I enjoyed it. I mean, this episode has been, and the season has been great. There's not been one ep episode that really, like, let me down at all. There's only been some episodes that weren't, like, like straight up phenomenal. They were just, you know, amazing, which, I mean, isn't bad at any standards. <laughs> but still, I'm really looking forward to seeing um, season three, of course. I mean, God, we're going to have to wait a while. But still, um, the fact is, uh, I mean, I don't believe Dorothy's dead. Dorothy just got, you know grabbed by the candle maker and brought into the flames but i don't know i expect to see something else hopefully i don't know um i like how she was able to make her weapon that was pretty awesome but this was a pretty heavy jane episode a pretty heavy um k episode if you want to be technical but um that was honestly a cool thing we got to learn more about miranda's past and then we got a, a good idea on um more like like on who she actually is and we ended up finding out that the person posing as miranda right now isn't miranda so like if the other people come back it most likely won't be those other people but i mean that that was a little of a shocker i don't know why i didn't even consider that but we we jumped straight into it and um she pulled out a body and it kind of looked like the the same like kind of they kind of looked similar i guess so i was like yo that's not like that's not her right but i didn't even finish my sentence because i wasn't sure and then we ended up having k and then figuring it out for us so i mean it's been very interesting. I'm excited to see what they're going to do next. Of course, the whole Dorothy thing is insane because she is so powerful. And 
the fact that she like destroyed like everyone inside that the little fair so i mean it's like it's insane and then she tried to embrace the whole idea i mean obviously she's a little girl so when her she makes stupid decisions i'm not like gonna get tight at her that much because it's like she's a little kid but it's like um i, I just need to i need to see how this ends because i mean niles is literally heartbroken from this and um, it's definitely going to be a crazy, crazy um, beginning of season three. Um, I expected to see the wedding for, for Cliff, and that's not what we got. I mean, uh, maybe they'll touch up on that later on. But, of course, I mean, he ended up going to help his, his real family instead. And um, it was a, a little a little different than I, than I expected. I expected to see him, like, screw up the wedding in some type of way. Um, the team is warming up to Miranda, and that that's going to be a problem. Because, I mean, uh, I don't know what she's going to do that person's gonna do to Kay. Uh, I don't I don't know how the rules work when it comes to like getting rid of like the little girl so I'm hoping that nothing too extreme happens but it's gonna be exciting to see how it plays out. This episode was literally insane we had a straight up orgy and that was a, a little uncomfortable I mean um the uncensored version of the Patreon so <laughs> not but for real so it's it definitely caught me off guard because I mean I thought that guy was nice uh, the, the way that it showed him and then um his idea of of growing the relationship and eh, don't get me wrong I mean if you guys want to go ahead and do your thing I mean then go ahead I mean your beliefs are your beliefs but don't be saying that you're doing it to grow the relationship when like Jane said you're doing it because you want to try the cat bro like that's that's the bottom line, and it, it was it was funny seeing Jane call it call them out. Got me a little uncomfortable because I hate when people see the the crazy side of people when they're like, oh, that's what you told Miranda. It's like why are you talking to yourself in the third person? But it's like it's like it definitely caught me off guard. Like, like when she like straight up snapped like that, and the fact that that Miranda just got so overwhelmed, she ended up um like releasing like other personalities or something but that scene literally got me like i was like bro what are you, what is going on dude so it's gonna be nuts hopefully i can put in as much as i can for youtube because of course i'm gonna have to blur some of that out um but either way it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a, a f it's gonna be fun i mean I'm, I'm looking forward to this i mean if you're new to the channel make sure you talk to me in the comments i mean like like I, I love hearing new people i love hearing what your favorite part of the episode was it's awesome join the discord we could talk about a lot of stuff. Um, it's in the description, of course. Same thing with all my other links. So knock yourself out. It should be fun. But yeah, I mean, this was a definitely a very fun season. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to compare it to like the first season, say which one is better. But I definitely enjoyed both of them. And um, the fact is, I mean, just the characters, just they're just so unique. I mean, being able to see Cyborg in this light has been really fun. And um. I mean, Rita, I mean, I'm gr like, she's grown on me a lot, like, especially because, I mean, we had her in the first season, I mean, we've seen her character, of course she cares about acting, and sometimes she just, I don't know, she was a, an oddball sometimes, but the fact that she still wants to help people, she wants to be a hero, and that's one of my favorite traits, you know, um, no matter what your personality is, I mean, as long as you're out there trying to help people, and she basically got her first loss as a hero, <laughs> Sorry, that's nasty. In the first episode, because, um, I mean, in the, in this, um, episode, basically, because, uh, if you think about it, she was, like, talking about how she didn't have the balls, basically, to step up and take on Ronnie, and I guess that kind of wasn't good for morale. Um, all of us, all of our characters ended up touching up on our old, um, imaginary friends, which was hilarious, of course, um, uh, what's his name, uh, Oh my god, Larry didn't have a problem with any of this. I mean, he didn't have an imaginary friend, but Cliff, of course, saw Jesus, which, oh my god, was hilarious. That big fight scene, I mean, seeing Jesus kick ass is honestly amazing, and I, I, I'm i really glad that they went this way. I mean, this show, only this show can pull off Jesus like that, bro. Like, that's, that's, that's funny, bro. I mean, um, a lot of the, they're, they're killing it. I mean, we had um, Rita with that ass flat Stanley, so that was also a little... A little fun thing to watch uh she ended up and each one of these characters are breaking down to their imaginary friends their feelings and that's the thing i guess a kid would do to their imaginary friends when they're younger so it was it was, it was fun seeing that it, it, like straight up it was um rita talking about how the reason why she got rid of that imaginary friend is because she took the eyes of her mom to put on the imaginary friend and after she saw what her mom did she wasn't able to go through and and just keep looking at it you know and um for cliff he was talking to jesus about how oh yeah he stopped talking about jesus because he wanted to, to see if his father you know would actually be in their life in a positive way 
And Cliff was only six, so Jesus got out of hand. He didn't even realize how old he was. He's like, bro, you were only six? Oh my god, my bad. He's like, I had no clue. <laughs> He's like, like, dude, you were like kicking, you were kicking his ass for something he did to you when he was in kindergarten, bro. Like, you, you good? I mean, that shit was mad funny. Um, we had Cyborg, of course, who was talking to a uh, cowboy doctor or whatever. What is that? Dr. Cowboy. <laughs> so that was also really funny. And of course, they brought the actor that plays his dad in. I mean, he played Martian Manhunter in Smallville, but they they brought him back to play. Um, Dr. Cowboy, which was honestly funny, because, I mean, the, the way they were, they were highlighting Cyborg's problems was always looking for, um, approval and, um, always, you know, looking for that. So, I mean, who better to be his imaginary friend than his father? So that was something else that, that kind of threw me off a little bit. But just seeing, seeing the actor come out with, like, the, the, the straight-up old Western gear and then, you know, the draw, that shit was mad funny. I just, I'm just picturing the office with Dwight and all that. Like Dwight, what was it? Dwight, Andy, and, and Michael. So that shit was mad funny. But uh, like I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to season three. I mean, we 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 are running out of shows. Like I'm probably gonna end up checking out One Piece soon. Um, again because um, I honestly thought I had a couple more weeks of this, and now literally, literally I have no weekly shows anymore. I gotta finish Snowpiercer and even Lock and Key. But I still got time to do that. And all my Arrowverse shows aren't coming back to January due to them not being able to film, and um, because it would usually be coming out in about a month or two, which would have been really fun that's not happening which kind of sucks but it's whatever i guess and um so we're gonna be it's gonna be a lot of anime a lot of avatar the last airbender uh, a lot of hannibal because that's something that you guys have really enjoyed so a lot of stuff like that so again if you guys are new make sure you check out my socials do what you can help me out join the discord check out my patreon this is going to be on patreon because it's the finale and yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to dropping a lot of this stuff so again if you're new i hope you're having you know a good time checking out the channel i mean welcome i mean i love talking to you guys so feel free to talk in the comments talk to me and um i guess that's it i mean we'll be dropping some more stuff later and stay safe peace